Hi, boys and girls. So for this week, you are going to be learning a little bit more of the scientific method. And so if you look at my screen, I am going to go ahead and share with you um, what we have here as the assignment for today, which is your scientific method passage. Um, now you need to keep in mind that um, as a fourth grader, you uh, we try to get you guys ready for um, creating your own uh, science project for the science fair. Uh, some of you had a chance to do this in third grade possibly. And if you didn't, well, this is one of our goals for fourth grade. Now, if we read this passage, we will get a little bit of an idea of the important steps that we need to be able to come through a uh, scientific method along with a science uh, project and identify the questions that we're trying to answer, okay, or solve a problem. So let me go ahead and re read uh, the scientific method passage for you. Now it says here, scientific method. What is a scientific method? The scientific method is defined as a method of research in which a problem is identified. Data is gathered, a hypothesis is created based off the data, and then the hypothesis is tested. This is a way for scientists to study and learn things. It doesn't matter what the scientist is trying to learn. The first thing to do with the scientific method is to, become, to come up with a question. You can't find the answer until you know the question. Next. You will need to observe and gather information in order to come up with a guess, a hypothesis, or a number of guesses to the answer. You will then run your experiment to see if your guess is right. To have a successful experiment, you will only want to change one thing. This is a variable at a time. You can check your results and know what you changed and then identify if that changed the answer. After running all your tests, you will then present your answer. By going through this process, scientists have a way to verify their guesses and to double check each other. Other scientists can look at your tests and add more tests and continue to work through your answers to refine the question. Here's the history of the scientific method, which is right here. The scientific method was not invented by one person. It was developed by different scientists over the years. For something that sounds simple and basic, there are still long scientific papers written about the method and scientists who disagree on the best way to implement the scientific method. Francis Bacon, René uh, Dis Descartes, and Isaac Newton helped contribute to the development of the scientific method. They used the scientific method to learn about nature and science. They wrote papers and discussed how using experiment and changing variables can help to determine if a guess or their hypothesis is correct. There are six steps that you need to take when using the scientific method. And here are the most important six steps for the scientific method. You have step number one, ask a question. You always wanna ask a question, okay, for a problem that you're trying to solve. Step number two, Gather information and observe. Make some research. Step number three, make a hypothesis. Guess the answer. Step number four, experiment and test your hypothesis. Step number five, analyze your test results. And last, step number six, present a conclusion. Okay, so this, these are the steps towards a scientific method. As you can see, the scientific method was not invented. It is something that continues to be used when we're finding research for new things, maybe uh, new, new cures, and maybe new discoveries as well. Now, you have a few questions underneath. If you want to read the passage again, you may do so. Okay, if you want to stop the video to answer these questions on your, on your own, you may do so. I'm going to go ahead and read number one for those of you that may need to. If you need to pause the video, you can do that as well and reread the passage before I continue with the questions. Number one says here, true or false, the scientific method is defined as a method of research 
in which a problem is identified, data is gathered, and a hypothesis is created based off the data. Then the hypothesis is tested. Is that true or is that false? Make sure that you check your answer. Go back to the story if you need to. Number two, which of the following is the first step to scientific method? First one, make a hypothesis. Next choice says, gather information and observe. Third one says, experiment and test your hypothesis. And last one says, ask a question. What is the first step of the scientific method? And you can look for the first step. Number three, which of the following is the second step to the scientific method? Step number two. Let's see your choices. Ask a question, make a hypothesis, experiment and test your hypothesis, or gather information and observe. Number four, which of the following is guessing the answer? In other words, what is a word we use when we, instead of saying guessing, okay, we make an educated guess when we are working through the scientific method, what would it be? Would it be gathering information, analyzing test results, conclusion, or hypothesis? Which of these words means an educated guess? Number five, which scientist was credited with contributing to the development of the scientific method? Which of these played a role to creating that scientific method? Was it Benjamin Franklin? Was it Thomas Jefferson? Was it Sir Isaac Newton? Or was it Maria Curie? Look at your passage again. In this last piece, you have a bit of information. Number six, which of the following is the last step to the scientific method? The last step. The first choice says present a conclusion. Next one says make a hypothesis. Following says experiment and test your hypothesis. And the last one says gather information. Which is your last step? And you can look at your steps at the very underneath or very last piece of your story or your passage. Number seven, which is uh, getting closer towards the end. Number seven says, why is the scientific method beneficial for scientists? What is a good thing about having a scientific method for scientists? Is it, it helps scientists look at tests and answers and answer more questions? Is it scientists can now copy the tests? Scientists can discredit the test experiment, or scientists will believe everything from the test and not test it again. What is the benefit of the scientific method? Think about it. Number eight, which of the following is a definition of a hypothesis? First one says guessing an answer. Next one says observing information. Following one says gathering information. And then the last one says discussing information. So let's go ahead and look at our passage. Find the word hypothesis and try to find its meaning. And number nine says, when you change one thing in the experiment, it is called is it called a hypothesis, a variable, a conclusion, or research? So go back to your story and try to find, you know, something that speaks about changing one thing in the experiment. Or you can look for these um, words to find the definition to them. And then the last one here says, what is the scientific method? I'm sorry, what did the scientific method help scientists learn about? Okay, what is the purpose of the scientific method? What did it help scientists learn about? Was it space? Was it nature? Was it experiments? Or was it the scientific method? Again, make sure to go back and reread if you need to. What did the scientific method help scientists learn about?
And this is all for this assignment. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you. And um, I hope that we are understanding why the scientific method is very, very, very important within science. Bye, boys and girls.